Hello everyone, I am Humam Farooqi and today I am going to demonstrate an experiment for studying the kinetics of reaction in an adiabatic batch reactor. The reaction that we will study is the reaction of sodium thiosulfate with hydrogen peroxide in a batch reactor. This is the complete setup of the experiment in which this is a, an insulated batch reactor in which the reaction will take place. This is a stirrer that will be attached to the batch reactor and and this is a thermocouple which will also be attached to the batch reactor for measuring the re uh, temperature of the reaction. Now let us see the reactants that will be required in this experiment. First is the sodium thiosulfate solution and the other is the hydrogen peroxide solution. Uh, we will prepare uh, one, uh, one molar of uh, sodium thiosulfate and then uh, one molar of hydrogen peroxide solution in a uh, in in one variation and the and in other variation of experiment we will prepare hydrogen peroxide solution of one molar and sodium thiosulfate solution of 0.5 molar now that we have prepared the reactant uh, the sol now the, we will add the reactant solutions in the batch reactor first we'll add the sodium thiosulfate solution in the batch reactor And then we will add the uh, hydrogen peroxide solution also in the batch reactor and we will close the reaction vessel after ad adding both these reactants. First we'll set, uh, we will fit the stirrer in this uh, reactor. And then the thermocouple also in the and for measuring the reaction temperature also will be fitted in the reactor we will now set the reaction vessel and move to the operating panel of the reactor and turn on the mains of the equipment and also the stirrer of the equipment that the di display will show the digital temperature that is, uh, is that is currently being measured in the uh, inside the reactor and also the rpm which is fixed at 105 you can see that the temperature is rising with respect to time and this temperature we have to measure till the temperature becomes steady with respect to time now this is the complete procedure for conducting this experiment now I will explain you uh, about the calculations part in which we will plot the temperature versus time graph and some other calculations. For our experiment, the reaction equation, the stoichiometric equation is given by sodium thiosulfate plus hydrogen peroxide goes to products. And the rate equation is given by minus Ra equal to KCACB. So in, the, in our experiment, we have measured the temperature versus time data. We need to draw a table. To, and plot the temperature versus time data. Now for any kinetic study, we need to measure the uh, uh, activation energy as well as the reaction rate, uh, rate constant. So uh, we, we, uh, by, by, when applying the energy balance, uh, we see that the change in heat of reaction is equal to the sensible heat and uh, by the temperature versus time plot, we get the dt by dt by the slope of this plot and we get this final equation since this reaction is exothermic we will find an increasing temperature with respect to time and for, for uh, modifying the energy balance equation for stoichiometric proportion of uh, an irreversible second order reaction we will get this equation and uh, applying log we will get an equation of the type y equal to mx plus c and we will plot uh, y with, uh, with x and from, from the, the slope of the plot we will uh, we can find the activation energy and from the intercept we can calculate the frequency factor similarly for the non stoichiometric proportional of, re of reactants we will get another equation of this type and then we'll apply log and also plot y with respect to uh, x and we will also get the, uh, the activation energy and the uh, frequency factor k0 from the slope and intercept respectively for any query regarding this experiment you can clear that in doubt session uh, thank you.